Welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to do a quick video going over the roadmap bonuses, uh, research bonuses even, for new nations in War Thunder. Now, this has been a long time promised feature that Gaijin were going to add quite some time back. I can't remember when, but I think it's been at least over a year or maybe two now. And they did a test the other month and people were not happy with it. I mean, the bonuses seem pretty nice on the surface, but it's the fact that you only get three to five missions. Well, it was originally three missions, but they've increased it to five now. So you get five missions per day. Say you completed the US tech tree, uh, got the M1 Abrams, the set V2. You then have access to research a new nation and it provides you a bonus, a daily bonus of five matches. It's separate, tanks, planes, and naval. Now if you play tanks, you get access to five battles with five tanks. And then your research bonus is done for the day and you've got to wait until 12 a.m. for it to reset, so every every night pretty much. And then the same applies to planes and naval, so you get separate battles for them. Well, yeah, the, the bonus just doesn't seem worthwhile. I mean, I'll take it. It's better than having nothing, <laughs> but it's not what people wanted. Uh, I can understand their frustrations. Another nice thing they've done for this is, because I remember doing this the other month where they like filed it, and basically, if you finished researching, for example, the US again, you would not have that bonus for that nation, but they've reverted that change to now. Even if you have finished some like the top tier vehicle for the US, you can then go back and still get the research bonus for those other vehicles, which I suppose is decent. Like like I've been saying, it doesn't seem like it's really going to improve the grind by any means. Uh, to see if you are eligible for the new research bonus you can see at the bottom of the tech tree and it'll have like a little light bulb symbol and that pretty much means you've got access to these bonuses but no let me know what you think because on the one hand i understand why people are really annoyed but on the other i mean i wasn't really expecting much from gaijin on this part and it is a nice addition that didn't have to do this but yeah very underwhelming is the word i'd use you can also see the research efficiency in terms of how much uh, bonus RP you'll get for each each different branch of the army. So you've got your tanks, helicopters, planes, blue water fleet, coastal fleet. So it seems you get the most benefits from researching vehicles later on in the tech tree. So rank seven and eight seems to be the most efficient way of using your bonus RP. Because if you're towards the end of a nation for them, it's gonna come in handy. I suppose it's like using a research, 100% research booster if you look at it that way. And for rank 6, it's like using a 75% one. It's not terrible, but it could be more. So after you complete a battle, you can also see where the bonuses come into play. It'll come up on the little scoreboard at the end. If we go down to the comments, you can see I've highlighted two of them. <laughs> one person's mocking the change by saying that they can't believe they've done it. Basically, how the change was just so underwhelming. There's also Captain Shadows, this guy. He um, He's on the other side of the fence where just having this bonus is better than nothing. That That's my opinion, anyway. That's how I feel towards this. I'd rather have it than not have it. But no, that's about everything I wanted to cover. Whether this benefits you or not, this is probably going to affect long-time players of the game. As... I mean, I'm unaware of how many people are actually in top tier or have made it that far because you've got to spend money realistically to progress in this game when you get to a certain point. I mean, there are those hardcore dedicated free to play players, which I have complete respect for, who have not spent a single dime or penny on this game. And that is understandable. So for those free to play players who have made it to the end, I still can't see it as a win. To be fair. <laughs> it's not a win, but it's a nice, uh, it's nice to have. Anyway, I hope this was a somewhat informative video. If did, please give it a like, comment and subscribe as I appreciate the support. Uh, but no, I will see you in the next one.